Well, Sunday is National Cancer Survivors Day. Normally, the Upstate Cancer Center celebrates together at the zoo. But with the pandemic, it's their second year bringing the zoo to survivors. One of whom tells me events like these are what get you through because there's strength and support. It's the club you didn't want to sign up for. It was 2015 when Deborah Lynch was diagnosed with not one, but two types of breast cancer. When you're first diagnosed, you're like, you know, you think it's a big red X. This is it. Today, she's a survivor. The Baldwinsville art teacher has students, coworkers, family, and friends to thank for getting her through her hardest days. When you're low and you don't feel like you can get up in the morning because you're so sick from the chemo, um, you know, you get somebody to pull you up by your bootstraps. Deborah says that team is essential. And on National Cancer Survivors Day, she'll join her club at the virtual zoo, a group she never wanted to be in, but one that helped her beat what brought them all together. Camels, octopus, elephants, uh, the red pandas. Chris Benton with the Cancer Center wants survivors to know they're not alone, even if they can't physically be together. We're celebrating life, we're celebrating cancer survivors, and their caregivers as well. You realize that, whoa, I'm not alone. And if you're fighting cancer right now, Deborah has some advice. Do what makes you happy every day. Find the people you can talk to, lean on, and though it sounds cliche, never lose hope. You're kind of like with blinders on going through the motions and um, but for some reason you come out and it's like, oh my God, I made it. You have to have the faith that you're going to make it through. Well, Deborah, thanks for sharing your important and inspiring message and story. Now, the half hour long video will be released by Upstate Cancer Center and the Rosamond Gifford Zoo at 7 p.m. Sunday. We'll link you to it from our website. We'll be right back.